Hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Matt. On this episode, we're talking about Kalomen and their Seneg release. Or this is another single malt from Isla. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Matt, tell me more about this because I don't think I'm getting it right. All right. Kalomen, the Seneg edition. 46%. The second edition, mainstay edition from Coloman. If you want to see the history of Coloman, of course, we've got it. Did a little few weeks ago. You guys can go back and check that out. This is named for the Rockley Inlet that is north, just north of the story on the Atlantic Ocean. It's mostly Oloroso sherry casks and some ex bourbon casks. And this came out in 2016. So let's see what we think of this beautiful thing. Look at the color on that. That is some sexy color from those sorry cash i like that i like this bottle but we all both know i like that bottle because it's a really cool ass looking bottle i also like the cool metal it's cool as shit matt does have an affinity for uh having fiddly bits and specialness to your bottle i do that's why i like this thing because it's like a big giant fiddly bit and see we do psalm two so we can do psalm three and talk about isla scotch it's beautiful it's all good all right anyway it's fun that the running joke of Psalm 2 was that we're only doing this bourbon class so that we can do the scotch class next. <laughs> of, of course it is, because it's the better one. <sighs> well, it's I guess the fun. running joke was is that if they made the scotch class second, nobody would come back for the third. <laughs> also true. Why bother? <sighs> bourbon is really good, but I like scotch better. You know, me too. Okay, well, this is, <sighs> this is a, a pretty typical cologne and smell. It's it's kind of fairly young smelling malt, oh. and it still has this uh, little bit of. Um, <laughs> I, I want to say like baby vomit. Hmm. Note going on in there. I like it. To me, it smells like stewed fruits. Like yeah, apples, <laughs> pears, dates, melons, and sultanas. Yeah. And that's for you, Joe. Sultanas instead of raisins. All right, we got guava, papaya, a little bit of. See, then the peat the pe seems to be kind of be the like, not as more in the background on this with coffee and yeah, some. Yeah, because I, I get like peaches and cream before I get the peat. Yeah, the peat's like way, like, you know, like seven or eight things back. Some rhubarb, a little bit but of. I'm getting, um, I'm getting an iodine medicinal, uh, like hospital um, okay. peat to this one. Yeah, it's I can not see a little bit of that. It's not um, a typical smoky. It's not a typical um, meaty or mommy um, like I like I typically find in Isla. This is more down the iodine path that I get in Lafroy. Okay, yeah, I get this like nice little toasted almonds and some toffee, little wax, like a little wax seal. The actual yeah. wax, like like kind of like the one you get on Maker's Mark, kind of like that. Yeah, the ripping of that wax. Yeah, like a little bit of toffee. That's like a fresh oiled leather. But yeah, Pete really and truly is not the predominant under the nose. Mm -mm. It's there, but it's not predominant. All right, let's see if it changes on the palate. Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Way more Pete on the palate. About halfway through. Woo! That Pete just kind of ramps up to a level of 10. Yep, and concrete dust, like, like somebody just like took a took a big bag of concrete and just poured it. That dust is flying up off of you. It's just hitting the you know the water when you're mixing it. Mm. Bitter black finishes, ice. finishes nice and long and lingering. Still going, still going. Yeah, mm. white grapes, dates, sultanas, marzipan, like butter cookies. Um, now we're getting like a little cinnamon and black pepper, salt, but yet now that creamy, that cream puff you're talking about earlier, that's starting mm -hmm. to show up. Um, chocolate, guava. Oh, now it's got like this like leafy purple carrot, like cabbage note on it at the very finish here. Yeah, it's purple. It's got to be purple cabbage, not like green. I don't I don't dislike it. But to me it's still very, very young. I like I, the weirdness. I, I I wouldn't put this over four years, five years old. Yeah, I can't imagine. As far as like flavor goes. It just hasn't had time to 
to round out and to kind of get rid of some of the harshness that that uh, that malted barley can have in its early a- ages. Yeah, I think like the oldest thing I have is like nine years old. Yeah, I don't think this is like you said, maybe like five, four or five. It is young, but I, I do like the weird concrete note. That's just a really different thing to get from a uh, peated scotch. I like it. I think it's fun and different and interesting. Not your typical note you're going to pick up at all. I can't think of another scotch that has concrete in it. Oh, wait, I can. That one also sucked. This one's good, though. There was that horrible, uh, what the hell was that shit? The, the uh, Claymore's. That was like you actually ate concrete, though. Glyph had concrete in it, too. Glyph is gross. Glyph was really gross. It's okay. Someday we'll review it, but why? (laughs) Someday we will, but not eternity. Unless I want to punish all of us, which there's a good chance that'll happen, too, because sometimes it's fun. And you remember why certain things suck and certain things are good. We have to remind ourselves this shit sucks. But this one I like. Yeah, I, I don't disagree with that. So, I don't. I don't dislike this. I think that it's going to definitely get better with age. Yeah, um, is this the best Coloma? No, there's way better Colombas than this. Is this good for a standard product because it's really hard to find? Yes, it's it's good because it only makes two standard products. Mock your What's the price point? Uh, just like 50, 60 bucks. It's not crazy expensive. It's not cheap, but it's not expensive. Okay, so I'm, it's not really about I'm not I'm not. Yeah, I'm not it's reasonable. reasonable. And it's a small, you know, like I said, it's a small distillery. It's a little mom and pop distillery. I mean, you got to charge a little more for that. Just, just the way it goes. So, 46%? Yeah, 46%. I wish it was a little higher proof. I think that would improve it some too, to be honest. But, well, you know. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe they maybe they, they they brought it down to bury a little bit of it out. No, that's true too. I guess we'll still see someday. They do make some really cool sherry cast ones like Lockron, which, jewelry, which is really freaking good. So it's all good. All right. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Check us out live every Monday night at 9 p.m. And until next time, keep on crusading better whiskey in your glass. Cheers. Cheers. It's good. We are unlisted, yep. and we are live. <clears throat> These are things we have to check nowadays, because <laughs> sometimes we film episodes without filming episodes. We did do that. A week ago, two weeks ago, whenever yeah. we did it. Last time That's we fun. did this. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, that was us. Awesome. Uh-huh. Shit happens. Three, two...